Well, that's not a knife. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Daddy Goose from Crimson Black Game. If you guys are from Crimson Black Game, you decide to come on over to check out my solo music reaction channel. Thank you so much for checking the channel. Or if you guys are from the web, you decide to click on this fucking kick-ass thumbnail. Thank you guys so much for checking it out today. Or if you're a subscriber, you're part of the 2.52 thousand, thousand subscribers. And you decide to check out today's episode. Thank you guys so much because today we have hopefully another S tier banger because we're doing eminence today. Now, last time we did eminence, oh shit, never mind. That was Death by a Thousand Cuts, actually, was the last time. But the time before that was Heaven Shall Burn, which is the first and still only song on the channel to get a higher rank than a 90. Uh, so. I mean, a little bias. Eminence is my favorite band, so maybe a little bias there. But I am so excited. Uh, you know, the new single just came out, so you guys knew I had to react to it. Looks like we have a five-minute fucking song here. Uh, absolute lengthy boy, but I'm here for it. Eminence. They're always putting out bangers, man. So I'm really, really excited. So without further ado, let's just hop right on into it. Eminence Continuum. Kind of a weird song title coming from them. Makes me intrigued. Let's get it. Oh, that little... We're gonna get cleans here. I'm calling it right now. This is gonna be epic as shit. Oh my god. Dude, I love, I love the direction Eminence has gone with this new album. It's like classic Eminence, but heavier. Like his screams in, uh, what the fuck was the last album called? Is it just called Temptation? What the fuck is the last album called? I don't remember. But it's not nearly this heavy. Like I'm talking vocal wise. This is cracked, and we're about to get some, I'm assuming some cleans. They're doing a slowdown part, so I'm assuming we're going to get the chorus here. <sighs> like I said, I don't know if I'm just biased to this band because they're my favorite, but God, do that intro. The intro. Also, for those of you who are new, if you guys ever see me doing this, one, I'm in shock. Um, but mo mainly, my headphones are too fucking quiet, so when I fucking... Put 8,000 pounds of pressure this way into my skull. It does make it a little louder. And I can enjoy it some more. Let's keep going. Please be a clean for chorus. Oh, fuck. I just nip slip because of that. Fuck you, chair. <sighs> Look, I'm not ready for this. God, we're a minute in. We're a fucking minute in. Dude, Eminence is my favorite band because they just have everything I've ever wanted into a band, compiled into one, and they fucking nail it perfectly. I didn't even know Violin was on my list of making a metal song perfect, but apparently it is. And this is fucking kick-ass. Sorry for the double pause there. I wasn't ready for that. Even though I thought I was. Let's keep going. Fuck. This is five minutes. This is going to be a crazy ride. Again. 
Holy shit. Holy shit. One of them that just reminded me of. Oh, what song is it though? What song is it though specifically? That cut there, I think this is the right take. That slow part just reminded me of Spirit Box Jaded. Whoa, that was weird how similar it is. Oh man, putting those side by side in my head, that is... I wonder why it felt so familiar, that's why. Oh man, okay, sorry about that, that just popped in my head there. Let's go back. Um, One more point. The slow part into the heavy again was executed so fucking well. Oh my god, so good. It's never jarring. It's perfect. Might be the end there. We might get just a minute of music video here. If this ain't the end, dude, I just got goosebumps again. Holy shit. I don't know if this is the ending or not. This could go so many directions. blue ball all right let's go we got blue ball fuck that sucked god damn it if that shit doesn't go immediately into the next song in the album i'm gonna be pissed if that's the last song on the album i'm mad fuck i was actually i didn't look at the time i didn't know how much time was left i really thought they were gonna kick it with like you know in temptation how at the very end it kicks in with like one last 20 second riff i thought they were gonna do that there and then they didn't uh, so that's unfortunate. Wow. Imminence continuum. So here's the crazy thing. This song is, first of all, I want to get this point across to the people out there that say, I, Hey, to be fair, I'm a man of a lot of hot takes and I respect everyone's opinion. All right. But everyone out there saying imminence is the same song over and over and over. Hey man, you're wrong. That's just not right. The, every song is different. I actually think this one is very different compared to a lot of their other stuff. I think the riff is completely different. I think they went more of a chunky direction in this one. Like, the riff was just, mm, you know? Like, impossible not to headbutt to. Head, <laughs> headbutt to. That's not, not the right word. Headbang to. Um, I lost my train of thought now because I fucked that up. Oh. Like, their other ones are so intricate. There's so much going on. There's a lot more guitar. You know, there's a lot more just chaos. Beautiful chaos. This one is just a nice, chonky riff. Had a couple really slow parts, too. Those slow parts really reminded me of Jade from Spearbox. But then the layout, I was kind of thinking about it at the end. The layout reminded me of Invent Animate uh, Whisper. Uh, I can't think of the whole song, unless that is the whole song's name. Whisper. You know, you guys know the one I'm talking about. The Whisper song. 
Uh, the layout really reminded me of that. Uh, so kind of crazy there. Overall, though, fantastic song. I don't know where to put this on the ranking. I really debated on a 90 again. And I'm sure it will reach the 90s once I listen to it a couple more times. But I think right now, I think we're going to give it an 89.5. I don't think it quite cracks the 90, unfortunately, first time listened through. Um, but very, very good song. And, I, and I'm sure once I listen to this again and I learn the lyrics, uh, it's going to be in the 90s. Like I said, it's really, really hard for me to give a song a 90 plus uh, on the first time around, which is why we've only ever had one song in the 90s. Um, in Minutes Heaven Shell Burn. If you want to watch that reaction, go check that out. But very, very difficult. Very close to a 90, though. Very close. With that being said, though, let's move on to today's reaction. Um, yeah, I'm a moron. Uh, I realized in the last cut, I said, let's move... I, I'm pretty sure I said, let's move on to today's reaction. I'm a, I'm a dumbass. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support. I can't believe you guys subscribe to someone who's as bad as English at their own primary language as me. I don't know why I said that. Um, <laughs> wow, Imdance, though, great song, reminding me of a couple different bands, just like I said, the very unique layout and sound from them today. I Like I said, I know some people think Imdance is all the same stuff over and over. If you're a true Imdance fan, like myself, let me know if you think today's song was quite a different vibe than most of their stuff. Like, I know what people mean, I saw them, I know what, I know what they're saying when they say every Imdance song is the same. Like, I get it. But at the same time, it, it all sounds very different as well. So like, I, I kind of get where you're going, but not really, you know? But today was, I mean, that, I mean, that one was even close to the same, in my opinion. But let me know. Uh, but really, really excited to check this whole album. I don't know how many more singles they're going to release, because I feel like that's their, okay, we did Come Hell or High Water, and then we did Desolation, which, by the way, I want to talk about that for a second. Different reaction, but I just want to say, I ranked that one pretty high. But then Heaven Shall Burn came out next, and I completely shadowed Desolation. I I went back to that song. It's been on repeat. Genuinely S tier song. The it was just the fact that Heaven Shall Burn was so good. I forgot about Desolation. Don't sleep on Desolation. S tier song. S S tier song. Definitely in the nineties now. And then after Heaven Shall Burn, we had Death by a Thousand Cuts. Right. So five songs, I guess. Right. Um yeah so this is their fifth single uh i don't know how many more they're gonna put out so that might be the last imminence reaction and then you know the, i'm assuming the album's got to come out they're not gonna release the whole album right uh but either way very very excited uh to listen to the rest of it so so good leave your comments down below i hope to see you in there and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed video today's video in general um, on top of that, uh, if you guys want to go check out previous videos, go check out those. I hope to see you guys in previous videos to come. If you guys are interested, I've been playing Doom Eternal live and if you, and, and Doom 2016. We just beat it. So if you guys want to catch up on all the gameplay, you can go to the live button there. And all my videos are up from my live stream. So you can go check those out. Make sure you hit that bell button if you are intrigued. Because then you can check out the lives when I do live. Um, on top of that, you can go check out my shorts if you're interested in that. Uh, other than that, though. It's the secret outro word of the day. You already know, because if you made it this far, you know what time it is. Uh, so when I say this word, you comment down below. Let's do hard drive. If you comment the word hard drive, I'll know you're a real one for watching to the end of these outros, which I really do appreciate it. But with that being said, have a good night, everybody. Daddy Goose out.